Hi everybody, it's Franny from Heidi and Franny's Garage and today I've got some great 356 content for you. So I was poking around on the blogs and I learned something I didn't know and that is that all valve covers on the 356s should be clear CAD plated. Now ours are black or were sort of painted black and I thought that was to mount the shroud because that's a normal thing and that the normals have the black shrouds and the supers have the silver shrouds. But truth of the matter is that all 356s have uh, the clear CAD plated valve covers. So in addition to that, we've got a really good friend I want to introduce you to. So I've taken the valve covers off the car and I'm taking them down to our friend Joe Leone. And he's an electrical guy, so he knows everything there is to know. He is an absolute legend in the 356 electrical systems. And so he has to get a lot of his parts plated and all that. So he's going to take our valve covers and a couple of straps here and get them plated for us. But I also want to introduce you to Joe and introduce you to some of the stuff that he's done. He has a bunch of booklets for all the cars, all the way to the Prius, all the way up through the Cs of all the electrical systems and then all the weird quirky stuff that goes on with these cars too like European heaters or strange fog lights and all that sort of stuff. He also does restoration work. So he restores generators and uh, our voltage regulator back here Joe restored for us and he can um, pull these things from the depths of despair and make them look concourse. So um, I think you'll really enjoy meeting, meeting Joe. So let's go meet Joe. Hey Joe. Yeah. Come it's just on us. In. Come on in. How's it going, Joe? I'm doing <clears> fine, Heidi. <throat> I can't get the paint off of these things, but I spent forever getting the dents out of them. These are the straps, ones for the generator oh, yeah. and the other thing, and then they just need a little plating as well. Mm -hmm. I thought if that's okay, we we'll just go ahead and get those seeds. Still, look at the least little bit of plating still left on that. Not much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, these will come out nice. Okay, what I want to look at is a couple of your books. So, for instance, here's an A horn circuit. Yeah. So, with all the, and these are the, and it tells you the coloring of the wiring as it's well. All standard DIN colors. Yep, yep. In there. Um, and so it gives you everything you'd need with this. This is great, and what it looks like on the back of the components. Oh, yeah. The, the relays. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, there was two different styles. Mm -hmm. And uh, I sh that's what's neat, I think, is it shows the back of the relay. Yeah. And then the really turn, and the turn. You see. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So and everything like this. So yeah. Uh, interior lights and look at this and yeah, interior lights, what instrument says? lights and yeah. Yeah. So, so you put together books on. Um, the wiring diagrams for all the cars. I have for the uh, the the fifty three and the fifty five three A. Mm -hmm. The A T two A is in one book. The T five is in one book, and the T six is in one book. Now the two pre A's, I didn't have a write up. The uh, verbiage, it was just too much. Mm -hmm. But I but with the uh, the A and the T5 and the T6, there's two separate pieces. Okay. So if they want, uh, they don't have to get the write-up, the verbiage. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then for the uh, shops, I make up what I call a pro series. It has uh, all the schematics only. Okay. In the one book. Okay. Oh, that's good. So all the cards then. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have all the accessories in there as well, too, like the um, fog lights and other accessories that were on How the about the, the Italian headlight, or head, yeah. Italian lighting? Okay, um, yeah. It, uh, the fresh air blower. Mm -hmm. the, uh, all those are in there. Oh, yeah. that's good. And you can't find them anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. You really can't. No, it's it's a... It's a, it's a super helpful manual. I go to it a lot whenever I'm looking at anything electrical in the car. So, yeah, they're, they're great. 
I'm really very excited to uh, share this with all of our viewers. I'll have in the video and in the description how you can get a hold of this literature from Joe and order it from him. And also, um, if you need to get your generator rebuilt or your voltage regulator rebuilt, um, he's the guy to send it to. Joe is an absolute legend in the 356 world. He is Mr. Electrics and done an enormous amount of work in all this area. So I know our car is running a lot better. Oh, because I know, of and it's just it's, it's such an honor. And Joe's like ten minutes away from us. I can't believe how lucky we are. Yeah, um, even that. Yeah, not even that. But it's such a such an honor to come over and talk to you about this stuff. This is it's always been very helpful for me when I worked on a car, and then the work you've done on our car is amazing. In fact, you did the work on one of the Seinfeld cars. The Oh, yeah, for for Tom. Tom Scott. Oh, so, yeah, that speedster. Yeah, the speedster. And so Jerry Seinfeld wrote an article about how he just absolutely adored that speedster. And uh, Joe did the electric work on that. So I've installed your light relay kit. Okay. And I've also installed the starter relay kit. Right. And they uh, both were very easy to install. And the light relay kit doubled the brightness of my headlights. Well, you know, that's what the first guy I sold one to, he's the guy that writes all the, uh, he does a lot for the 9-11 magazine. Okay. And he, he wrote it up in the 9-11 magazine. And uh, he, he measured it, and he got twice the lumens. Did he? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I had for the first, pr first time when I was driving down the road, I'd always driven with the brights on because you can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody finally flashed me and said, you got your brights on. I was so excited. Was, um, <laughs> right. Finally, was... finally, there was enough light that somebody had to flash it. So that was great. Huge improvement. Because as you said, the, the power has to go through all the IR drops all over the place, from the high beam switch to the switch on the dash. And... Well, the worst one is the T6 with the column. Okay. All right. That that switch is, and that's expensive if you can find one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you don't want to burn it out. That's the other thing. Oh, absolutely. You're, yeah, you're running so much current through all those switches. This, and what we have I, here. I can't figure it out. It's like a treasure hunt. It is. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's a big... No, look what's on top. That's not a regulator. Mm -mm. But now look at the date code. It, it's a... Uh, Where's the date code? Here, here it is here. Oh, 401. Is that it there? Yeah. yeah. So is it, it's the T6. I, and I was thinking that because the ridges are really far apart on the on the generator, and they're tighter on the earlier ones. Yeah, some of the A's are almost smooth. Yeah, but is this a cooling? No, it says D plus and D minus. What is this? We, it's just a terminal block. Oh, just a terminal well, block. Well, you know, oh. you know what I huh. thought? I thought it was. I thought it was for one of the early airplanes. So I got on the oh, I got on the mind. internet. Okay. Oh. I looked up all the airplanes, but all they show is more recent Porsche engines. Oh my! You know. Interesting. So it says D uh, D plus and D F. So these are the terminals here, the electrical terminals. Yeah. For the generator. Look at that. So you well, don't think it? You, maybe it didn't come off a car. Funny. It it's might not. not have been off a car, but like I said, the the date. It's it. What's strange is, see the directional arrow? Mm hmm Okay. They only had that up up till they did the T6C cars. Okay. Then they quit that, and they would stamp like 904 or something over here. Okay. But, but this still has the old arrow. Huh. It, it is a, it's a 6 volt, 200 watt. Okay. And I just... Did it come off a tractor, maybe? Were they still building tractors? It could, it could have been a tractor, but you know, look at look at the care with and this and mm -hmm. the fitting. Yeah, I, I mean, very stout. But the rest of it looks pretty standard. So you've though. never it, seen it's anything standard. like this before. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. You've never seen anything like this no. before. No. No. And I 
I went through everything I could find on the internet and nothing. So when it has a the shaft coming out the back as well, so there was a fan possibly yeah. on the other side. Yeah. That's a that's a mystery. Yes, it is. Wow. Yeah. So Joe, thank you so much for having us over and uh, showing us your books and stuff you have and and uh, generators and such, and then for taking the parts down for us. It's really great. Um, it's just an incredible honor to have you and have you so close and an amazing resource for the community in general. So just want to say thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed meeting Joe and seeing his books and hearing about his restoration services. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll get right to them. I'm going to leave some links to Joe's stuff down there as well. Thank you so, so much for watching, and until next time, safe travels. Bye. So what do you think? Don't they look nice? Now it's not spray paint. It looks like silver spray paint, but it's really clear CAD coating on it. So um, they look great, I think. And look at those, the hoops there. I went ahead and painted them black as well. Don't they look nice?